Good morning, uh, Lee Vanit here at the Crabston Golf Academy Short Game Learning Centre. So, I've had a request today from actually it's one of my students out in the Caribbean, David. Hi, David. Hope you're well. Uh, and he's having a bit of trouble with his pitching. So we're going to have a look at that today. Um, he's quite happy with chipping. So chipping when you're 10 yards from the fringe is fairly straightforward in terms of we're not using a lot of wrist action. In fact, we're not using any wrist action. It's a very, very uh, sort of frozen look in terms of the motion from the shoulders, arms, club. They all move together as a unit. That's fine for chipping, but it's not going to hit the ball very far. So when we get further out, I'm now 45 yards from the pin. Uh, I've got my 56 degree wedge, which I use for virtually most of my pitching shots. Get some loft on it. Get a reasonable amount of bounce on the sole. We want to utilize the bounce so we don't dig into the ground. Uh, a couple of things that are different from pitching as opposed to chipping. So with pitching, we're going to make a longer swing. And in so doing, we're going to utilize some wrist action. So when we make our backswing, we're going to allow our wrists to set the club. And the only way you can do that correctly is, is pretty much have a very sound grip, which would be the handle sitting in the fingers, never up in the palm. Oh no, desperate place to be. Don't want the handle in the palm and the root of the fingers, both hands, that helps to utilize our wrist action. It's no good though if you're holding on so tight. If you're holding on way tight, forget about it. Soften it off. Feel the weight of the club head at the end of the stick. It's a stick game golf. We need to feel the weight at the end of the stick. So when we make our pitching swing, we have to allow our wrist to set. And depending on the distance that we've got, we're gonna make a longer or shorter swing. So 45 yards. In terms of knowing exactly how far back to take it, there's, there's a little bit of margin for error here. We don't want to be so static that it must be a certain distance. Golf's all about feel, so we want to take the club back and through so that we create a flow swing. Okay, so in terms of setup, traditionally you see so many players pitching and have the ball miles back in their stance, and all that they end up doing is digging down into the ground and getting the ball going nowhere near their target. There's a time and a place for that when the ball position is in a very difficult, in a, in a, in a divot let's say, or, or a very much a downhill lie we would position it that way. But a standard pitch shot, we're gonna have the ball forward in our stance. We're gonna have the shaft only leaning slightly in front of the club head. Not a lot of shaft lean. So we've got our set up position here, ball forward. And what we're trying to do is brush the grass. Let me move this up a bit since there's a divot there. We're trying to brush the grass with the sole. We're trying to use the bounce of the club. Now I use my trail hand as an exercise to do that. You can do it with your left hand, but your left hand tends to lead and dig. So that's not what we want when we're hitting a pitch shot. We want the wrist to release or to hinge and then unhinge. So basically it's gonna look like this. So I've got my weight forward a little bit, I've got my ball forward and I've got my shaft almost vertical and then I'm gonna let the club swing. And you can see there that the club is nice and free because my wrists are nice and free. So practice hitting shots just with your right hand only, if you're right-handed place your lead hand on your trail shoulder and duff it. <laughs> you know what? I think I'll save that one because part of golf is being able to accept bad shots. Right, now I recalibrated and got the job done there. So that wasn't part of the lesson but I'm you're going to use that bad shot as an example to good players you might see them get upset, but they don't carry it with them. Well, if they do, they're not going to have a very good week that week. The ones who perform well, players who perform well are able to accept rubbish golf shots because it's part of the game. So there's a great example of me duffing a shot 
okay, fair enough. That's part of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept that. But guess what? I worked the way, got my next one right. So that's a great drill to work on, and also it's a great mindset. So think about those things when you're playing. That's the pitching drill for you, David. Hopefully that's helping you out. David's one of my online uh, students. So from all over the world, if you would like to get some lessons wherever you are, pop me an email, leepro 67 .com, and let's see you, let me help you lower your scores, have more fun, and let's enjoy this game. Okay, thanks guys.